What's up guys, this is Job Hager from UserRefs.com. Today I want to show you a way to down from Google Play uh, without using a phone. This is very, uh, very difficult for some of you guys, but for some of you guys it might be just really easy. So it's different. Uh, this method uses Java for this. G Java, G-R-E. And I have two links spotted in the description, which we all need. So let's start with the last one in this case. This is called Java GRE and a lot of you guys might know about it. This is a version which makes uh, Java applications run on Windows and for this we need uh, Windows 86 offline actually. And you have to download this one, you can download this one although you have a Windows 460 bit edition. Uh, the application crashes on that. So this is really definitely needed for this application. So. We're gonna try to download it. This is really easy because I made this video, well, I updated the really the application so it won't be a biggie for you guys so you don't have this um, problem thing going on because I already made two videos about this but I got a lot of questions about how can I find my device ID and stuff like that. And I fixed this with a really easy solution. So let's just go ahead and download it and open it. So as you can see, these are uh, a couple of files. We're gonna download this one by going to file and go to download and this will actually give you a zip file. And zip file is easy to open on Windows and this video is made for Windows so don't think that if you're a Mac OS X user this probably won't work. If it does, well you could always also let me know in the description if you want to. But of course you don't need to. So again, uh, Windows is getting a little, a little bit on my nerve. Open it with any kind of uh, zip opener you have. I use WinRAR for this, but you could also use just the uh, main zip opener in Windows, which is included in Windows 7 and Windows Vista, I thought, and in Windows 8, of course. I'm using Windows 8. Uh, so where do you need to put this one? This is really important. You can't put it anywhere on your desktop, like in my documents or anything. You have to specifically put this folder in your C drive, so we'll have the C uh, and then you will get a folder with Google Play Downloader. I'm going to show you how to see uh, how it looks like. So you just drag that folder down to your uh, C disk. This could give you a message from administrator rights. Just go ahead and say OK because this file is completely safe. It's coded in uh, Java language. I thought so. I'm not really an expert in uh, Java level, so if I'm saying something wrong, <laughs> don't don't think about it. Just leave it ahead. So with this uh, GRR file, I'm going to open this one easily by pressing on it. This will be really easy for you. And what it will do, it will pop up a screen with uh, in hatch. Uh, well, a lot of <laughs> stuff you don't want to know about it. The cool thing about this application, it will update automatically when a new version arrives. Okay, uh, I'm going to show you and I'm going to show you how this version works in action. This is really cool, uh, cool so I'm going to show you. Uh, think of an app. Think of an app. Well, you could use Team Viewer. Viewer. Let's go ahead and type it in. And probably what you will get is a bug. And this bug will uh, delay you from downloading it. It will give an error message. I'm going to show you how to fix that. Because if I press download this app, probably what will happen is that it will go ahead. But for some of you guys, it might give you an error message. So what for the, the thing you should do for that is just that click the download this app icon. And what it will do, it will fix the glitch or bug or whatever is bothering you. So after you did that, you can go ahead and download this app from any kind of app in the Play Store because this will open all the apps in the Play Store. This is really cool. So we go go into click download this app. You can give it the name if you want to. I just specifically give it the name Team Viewer for this, and just go ahead and download. <coughs> So after this application is downloaded, you want to put it on your phone or something. Then you should upload it to your Google Drive account. Can be you can also upload it to your own website, but I recommend you to use Google Drive because Google Drive is very easy and is very easy to uh, link with your Android phone. And this is really cool because if you have Google Drive in your account, you can just easily hit the file and it will download and install automatically. But I should have warned you that you should put developing mode on, developing mode. My bad on your phone because otherwise it might not work in some cases so 
guys uh, thank you for watching this video i hope you like it please subscribe because this is my first video and like it of course and i hope to see you guys next time